On ships, there are several tanks which carry fuel and oil. The marine diesel engines, emergency generators, boilers, etc. draw fuel from these storage tanks, also known as service tanks. All these tanks are provided with a specific valve known as a quick closing valve in order to shut the fuel supply instantly in case of an emergency, such as a fire. Usually on ships, they are operated for closing from a remote position manually, hydraulically, or even by using compressed air. The remote shut device or arrangement is located outside the engine room. This is done so that in case of a fire or an event when the engine room is inaccessible, the fuel supply can be cut off externally from a remote position. In this video, we will understand how a pneumatic or hydraulic quick closing valve actually works. Here we have the valve body which is usually made of a sturdy material such as steel alloy. It's designed to withstand high pressure and provide a secure closure. This is the valve disc. It's a circular component that fits inside the valve body. When the valve is closed, the disc creates a tight seal, preventing the flow of fluid or gas. The valve disc is attached to one end of the valve spindle, which is also spring operated. The other end of the spindle is attached to the heart of the quick closing valve, which is the actuator assembly. It consists of a lever locking piston mechanism, controlled by an external hydraulic or pneumatic system. The controlling system has a piston which moves with the pressure of air or fluid and simultaneously moves the lever attached to it. Once the air or oil reaches the lever piston, the lever which is currently positioning downwards rotates and as it becomes parallel to the ground or point upwards, the flat surface of the semi-spherical lever comes out of the retainer block slot, unlocking the slot. As the spring is already compressed and ready to expand, the removal of lever allows no barrier and it closes the valve seat immediately, shutting off the fuel supply. Now to bring the valve into normal open position, also known as the preloading position, first the operating supply, that is the air or oil supply needs to be shut. Then the spindle is rotated in the clockwise direction till the retainer block slot repositions itself in the same level of lever. Once it is in the position, rotate the lever downwards so that it slides into the retainer block slot and produces a clicking sound. After that, the spindle should be rotated in anti-clockwise direction until the end of the stroke is reached. This ensures that the valve is now in open position. The QCV is designed for quick response times, allowing it to shut off the flow in an instant. This makes it particularly useful in emergency situations where a rapid shutdown is necessary in order to prevent accidents or equipment damage. Do subscribe to Marine Insight YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next video.